everything you've heard, this is the last word. What up? It's your boy Bill Corleone, and this is Last Word TV. Hey, what up, man? I'm just about to stop by and just, you know what I'm saying, drop my thoughts about the new announcement that's about to come from Earl the True Spence. Um, no one knows what this man could be planning. He always hits you with something, uh, you know, that's real, you know, hey, that's the reason why he's the truth, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a head buster. Um, you know, if, if he said it's an announcement, I'm sure it's a good thing. Um, some might not like it, some might not, but what we about to do here is figure out what's going on. Okay, there's only three possibilities here. I ain't going to be here too long. I'm just coming to just get these little things out the way to y'all people. It's not going to take me long. Now, once again, there are three possibilities here. Tray of them. Now, the first one. We all know that Jerome Bruce Ennis is the IBF mandatory. Spence knows this. We know this. Um, we know how news is being kept under wraps. Um, you know, we spoke to uh, Bozy Ennis, and he isn't giving up anything either of any news. You know, uh, if anything, he's leaning towards. Uh, they may not get the fight. There's rumors that um, Spence don't want the smoke. Now, um, that fight makes sense. It's one that can garner um, pay-per-view numbers. Um, Could be a nice payday um, for both parties. But that is just one of the possibilities that I think may fall through. It feels like a big announcement to me, a Jerome Boost in this fight. Um, but let's go. Let's move on to the next one. Number two. Um, Ortiz. Coming off of big wins. Um that's a possibility um it's been said that he didn't want the um the drum boots fight yet um it's been said he didn't want to fight for a title yet but it's still a possibility it's still in the air of um of speculation that it could be one of the announcements that he makes there's only one announcement but that could be it maybe you know it'll be another big fight um well known fighter um it would be about the same as a Jerome Boost in his fight so far as the excitement and um the payday well, the payday might be more because, um, you know, Ortiz is a, is a better, you know, he's a more established, he fought more of a, um, just put it like this, he has a better resume than a Boost Ennis, so um, it would go on a more of an, um, and especially with the Mexican backing, um, and the Puerto Rican back in uh, it'll garner a lot more than the boot centers but <clears throat> that's just two now we're going to go to three we all know Keith Thurman um, you know been calling out a lot of people um, it's only because he needs to get his name back into the limelight it's understandable but 
what he's not getting is that Spence doesn't want that fight. It's been told to him that Spence doesn't want the fight. Spence told him directly he's not going to give him the fight. But he's pressuring him. You know, sanctioning bodies are pressuring. So, we know how Spence is. He always goes by his word. We That's one thing we know about Spence. He is, uh, he stands on what he talks about. So, if you know that about Spence, you know what I'm about to say. Spence is moving up. Uh, it's the only possible way. He's not going to sit back and wait for... Um, he's not going to sit back and wait for um, for Crawford. Or he may be a... Anno- see, see, this is the thing. He, he, he loves to bust your head. This could be an announcement for the Crawford fight. And they just playing with us. But I doubt it. Um... I believe deep in my heart that he's moving up because he refuses to fight Keith Thurman. And he really doesn't want to, you know, you know, get his belt, um, you know, tucking, you know. So, that's the only possibility I really see. Is moving up. That doesn't mean the Crawford and Spence fight will not happen. What it means is they'll meet at 154. I don't know if Jamal Charlo will still be there or Jamel, one of them. Um, I don't know if they will still be at the 154 once um, when Spence moves up. But we do know that uh, Crawford has. Uh, said he, he will move up and fight one of the Charlos. So, it's, uh, that in itself tells you they may meet still at 154. The problem is, can Crawford make the weight? Um, he's putting on a little bulk lately. Um, you know, and it's hard for him to do that. And that's just him trying to... Um, possibly get ready for Spence to add a little bulk um, but adding the bulk of of the weight of 154 and always have to put that on I don't see him doing that because for one it will um, diminish his mobility his switching time will be off timing will be off stamina will be off Unlike Spence, he's a stamina beast. Um, he he's a natural uh, uh, one sixty. He walks around one sixty. Um, you know, that's his natural weight. Um, he drops it. You know, it's miraculous how he does it. And um, he's not the only one. It's miraculous how. Um, Jerome Boos Ennis drops his weight because he's a big 147. Um, I don't see him staying at 147. He has to get his couple of um, big fights in, but after that, I see him moving on um, and moving up. But uh, that right there is my take. That's the way I feel. The announcement to me, you can put down in the comments if you feel differently. But that's how I feel. Uh, he's moving up in weight, you know, to look for other, um, you know, other things. Why should he sit back and wait for Crawford? It's just a one belt. I mean, he, he you know, Crawford has been taking uh, Spence through this, through the ringers, you know, making um, fights that no one knew. You know, it, it, it's just a lot of uh, weird old stuff coming from the um, uh, Crawford's camp. 
I mean, the BLK deal, I can't really knock the BLK deal because it could be lucrative. But can they maintain the lucrativeness? That's the thing. The lucrativeness has to keep coming. You know, you probably can't pay Brawner and um, and Crawford. And I heard they might be getting um, wilder. But hey, um, how lucrative can you be down the line? In years, I mean, big ups to be okay. You know, I wish them, you know, the utmost. Uh, I hope they uh, have the most success um, because we do need more, um, more, you know, organizations out here, especially with the loss of HBO and uh, Showtime is diminishing, and um, Triller is just. You know, hard to take serious. Um, the zone charges too much, and they on the app. There's too many discrepancies. So I hope BLK can come in and bring a, a fresh, a breath of fresh air to this, this fight game because um we gonna need it. But um that's my take on this. Spencer's moving up, that's for sure. But um hey. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if I'm right, I'm right. Either way, it's going to be a good thing for us. It's more big fights up there at 154. Not many, but I would love to see him with the bigger fighters. But, yeah, that's it. That's my take. Um, you know, this is Last Word TV. You know, I might have a little bit more lose later, and I'll be back. But uh, that's it. Um, I might give him more updates on this. Uh, I don't know when the announcement come in, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, but when it does, I'll be right back at you. This your boy, Bill Corleone. This is Last Word TV, and I'm out. Peace.